Hey everyone, in this video, we'll see five major tips to write better prompts for any AI model. These tips are applicable for any AI model like ChatGPT, Google Bard, or Bing Chat, or any other AI tool. Because to get a better response, you need to write better prompts. As you know, all these AI models are trained with billions of records, billions of data. So as we tweak or change the prompt, the response will be changed accordingly. So it is very important for writing a better prompt or in a specific way and accordingly we'll get the result. The tip number one, specify the format and the limit. And we will be using chat GPT to check all these tips. Here I'm writing a prompt, a basic prompt that is how does a star get formed in space. So here it's a very generic and simple prompt. So this is the response that has been chosen by the AI model itself. So to customize this response, we can provide the format as we want and also we can limit the number of characters or number of lines. So let's change this prompt to please explain in eight simple bullet points and let's submit it it has started responding and you can see uh, the response is simpler as compared to the previous one and it is just eight bullet points so like this we can customize our output format and also we can limit the number of lines if you further want to change it you can provide the emotion in the prompt so that accordingly it will respond like uh, we can give a follow-up prompt like regenerate this in a funny way and now it is responding in a funnier way you can see space guest party then cosmic group hug so it will make the same response in a comic way or in a funnier way so that is the way we can change our prompt and we'll get the desired output tip number two give exact inputs to get exact outputs so here i'll be giving an example of a vba code uh, that we usually use in our excel file this is an excel sheet and in sheet one uh, this is the data or this is the uh, template i have and i just want to copy this as it is into another sheet in another file as you can see the cell starts here from a1 and i'll be copying this complete range that ends here in i23 so here is the prompt please write a VVU code which copies all data in the range from A1 cell to I23 including all rows and columns with the formatting in sheet 1. So as you can see in my prompt I am providing the exact details that is the cell starts from A1 till I23 in sheet 1 in the file and this is the complete file path and we need to copy this range into this file myexpense.xlsx into sheet 2. And again, I am specifying the range A1 to I23 cell in the destination. And let's enter this and it will generate the VVA code. Now let's copy this code. And uh, this is the destination file, my expense. And we'll go to developer, visual basic and insert module. And here we will paste the code. Yeah, and after running the VVA code, as you can see in the destination file, that is myexpense.xlsx, it is copied in the same way as it is there in the source file. So that way, using chat GPT, you can create a code using the exact inputs in the prompt and you will get the exact output. You just need to copy that and paste it and run the code. So that is how we, uh, you can save your time and you can get the exact output if you provide the exact data in the inputs or in the input prompts. Tip number three, that is give references. By writing a prompt, you should give a reference uh, to generate your output based on the reference. So it will be easier for the AI model to use the reference and make your output or response in the same way. Now here I have given a simple prompt, summarize the impact of climate change on ecosystems. So this is without any reference let's see how it responds yeah so this is the complete response and uh, now let's try the same prompt with a reference summarize the impact of climate change on ecosystems focusing on recent studies published in reputable journals such as nature and intergovernmental panel on climate change IPCC reports. So it says as of the last knowledge update in January 2022, I don't have access to specific details about the latest studies. It has again provided a generic response. It is saying I can provide a general overview of the types of impacts 
uh, that were commonly discussed in climate change. But the idea is to tell you that uh, this is the way you can provide a reference in your prompt. And based on the reference given, it will adjust response of uh, the thing you are asking in your prompt. So wherever it is uh, required, it is a uh, good practice. It is a good idea to uh, give reference and adjust your response. But let's try this uh, by changing the prompt here. We'll change the reference. We will say, summarize the impact of climate change on ecosystems, focusing on the syllabus of state board students. Yeah, and this is the new response we are getting. Now, tip number four. Ask ChatGPT to pretend like someone or some expert of the specific matter that you are talking about in your prompt. This is the prompt. Imagine you are an experienced machine learning researcher addressing a group of graduate students. Provide an overview of the latest advancements in natural language processing or NLP, emphasizing key models like transformer, discuss the challenges faced in NLP research and potential future developments in the field. And it says, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today to discuss the latest advancements in natural language processing. So as we have asked, we are addressing a group of graduate students. It has given a script in this way. So the more you adjust your prompt, in that way, your response will be adjusted and it will check the billions of records it has in that particular manner and it will extract or create the response. So there is the reason prompts are very important. Now let's come to prompt number five. Always give examples of what you want. And the prompt is, please explain the impacts of increasing content creation in current digital age. So this prompt is without any examples. So it's a normal prompt that we are giving. And let's see how it responds. So this is a uh, generic response it has given. Uh, now we'll try to adjust our prompt and we'll see how the response will be changed. We will say, please explain the impacts of increasing content creation in current and digital age as the examples given below. First one is the rise in new opportunities and the rise in problems faced in society. So we have given two examples. So basically to cover both the positive and negative impacts of uh, increasing content creation in the current digital age. So we specified what exactly we want and let's see what it responds. Yeah, so first this uh, covers the rise in new opportunities. So basically what are the new opportunities uh, created because of the content creation process that is monetization for content creators like YouTubers, Instagrammers and entrepreneurship in the digital space. And then it covers the rise in problems faced in society that is misinformation and fake news, privacy concerns, online harassment and cyberbullying and also addiction and mental health issues. So these are the five major tips uh, that you can use in your prompts and it is very important as you have seen, the more we adjust and provide instructions in our prompt, that way it will extract and make the response from the billions of records it has. That is the reason uh, we should apply all these tips. Uh, definitely there are so many lots of tips, the more you use all these AI tools and the more you write the prompt, uh, the better prompt you can write. And there are definitely more and more tips and we'll be covering more tips in our future videos. And thanks for watching. For more such videos, please subscribe to this channel and share this with your friends. In our future videos, definitely we'll cover uh, more such videos about different AI tools and AI updates. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll see you in our next video.